How to create your own subscriber notification bell animation in DaVinci Resolve 17.4. Inside your project edit window, go to effects, underneath the toolbox, select effects, and go to find fusion composition. Click and drag one of these effect filters to your edits timeline. The default length of a fusion composition clip will be 5 seconds of screen time playing at 24 frames per second. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, hold in Shift and press Space. To open up the Select Tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find a Merge tool. Select this from the options and go to click on Add. With the Merge 1 tool selected, hold in Shift and press Space again and go to add a Transform XF tool. Click on the grey box to the right of Transform 1 and drag your mouse cursor over to the yellow arrow beside Media Out 1 to make a connection. Go to the options above your nodes grid and click and drag two disconnected rectangle nodes and three disconnected ellipse nodes to your grid. These newly inserted shapes will make up the main body of our bell. To add colour to the notification bell, click and drag a background node from the options, placing this just after the final shape that you have inserted and next to the merge node. Select rectangle 1, click on either the left or right view options underneath your node to see a preview of each of your shapes in the window above your fusion timeline. With the rectangle 1 node selected, go to inspector and controls, change width to 0.2 and change height to 0.3. This will make up the main central part of your bell. Connect rectangle 1 to the blue arrow alongside rectangle 2. Select rectangle 2. Click on either left or right view to preview. Repeat these steps each time you apply settings to the variables for each of your shape nodes. Underneath inspector and controls for rectangle 2, change center Y to 0.42. Change width to 0.4 and change height to 0.15. Connect rectangle 2 to your first ellipse node. Select and preview ellipse 1. Underneath inspector and controls, change center Y to 0.65 and change width and height to 0.2. Connect ellipse 1 to ellipse 2. Select and preview ellipse 2. Under inspector and controls, change center Y to 0.35 and change width and height to 0.05 to make up the clapper at the bottom of your bell shape. Connect ellipse 2 to ellipse 3. Select and preview ellipse 3. Under inspector and controls, change center Y to 0.82 change width and height to 0.05 to make up the shape at the top of your bell. Connect your third ellipse node to background 1 and connect background 1 to the yellow background arrow alongside merge 1. With background 1 selected and previewed, under inspector and color, double click on the color box underneath background and go to select a vibrant yellow color with the hexadecimal code hashtag FFFF00. Click OK. Now to add the rounded sides to your bell. Click and drag a third rectangle node and a fourth and fifth ellipse node above the green foreground arrow above Merge 1. And go to add a second background tool. These four latest nodes will be used to add transparency to the upper section of the clapper and also to the left and right sides of the bell to create curvatures. Select and preview rectangle 3. Underneath Inspector and Controls, change center Y to 0.339 and change height to 0.01. We will use this line to add transparency at the upper section of the clapper shape. Connect Rectangle 3 to Ellipse 4. Select and preview Ellipse 4. Under Inspector and Controls, change center X to 0.7. Change center Y to 
and change width and height to 0.2. This ellipse node will create a curvature on the right side of the bell. Connect ellipse 4 to ellipse 5. Select and preview ellipse 5. Go to Inspector and Controls. Change center X to 0.3. Change center Y to 0.525 and change width and height to 0.2 just as we did with the ellipse shape on the right side of the bell. Connect ellipse 5 to background 2 and connect background 2 to the green arrow above merge 1 so that these shapes appear in the foreground of your bell shape. Ensure that the color that you have selected for background 2 is different to that of the main color of your bell. In this case here I will stick with black. To create the swinging animation effect of the bell, select Transform 1. Ensure that the timeline pointer is at the first frame of your video clip. In this case here it will be frame 0. Double click on the pointer number underneath your fusion timeline and change this manually if necessary. Underneath Inspector and Controls, select the keyframe diamond icon to the right of Angle. I will now advance one third of a second along my fusion timeline. As we identified earlier on in this tutorial, a fusion composition clip comprises of frames per second speed of 24. I will advance forward to frame 8. Select the keyframe diamond icon to the right of angle. Change angle to 25. To create an animation effect where the bell rotates anti-clockwise. In order to make the bell swing the other way, and at a similar speed, we need to advance along our fusion timeline by a further two thirds of a second. In this case here, I will go along to frame 24. Change angle to minus 25 to create the effect where the bell swings in the opposite direction. Now to have the bell return to its original form, go one third of a second along your fusion timeline. In this case here, I will go to frame 32 and set angle to zero. In order to make the animation effect loop, Select Spline, tick Angle, use the scroll bars down at the bottom to shift horizontally to identify all keyframes applied to the beginning of your animation. Highlight all of these and go to choose Set Loop underneath this grid to make the bell swinging pattern repeat. Go to select your color tab, ensure that the relevant clip is selected, choose your qualifier tool Click anywhere on the bell shape to select its color shade. Right click on your color grading grid and go to choose add alpha output. Connect the blue box to the right of your clip node to this new alpha node, which will apply transparency to your whole clip apart from the color shade that you've applied to your bell. Return to your edit page. Ensure that there is space below your fusion composition clip if you wish to change the background color. In this case here, I will drag the Fusion Composition clip up from Video Track 1 to Video Track 2. And inside Effects once again, under Toolbox, I will go to Generators and select Solid Color. Click and drag one of these effect generators to your timeline directly below the Fusion Composition clip with your bell. Select Solid Color. Go to Inspector and underneath Generator, double click on the color box. For this particular project, I will choose a bright, vibrant red colour as the background. Hashtag FF0000. Click OK. When selecting the Fusion Composition clip, under Inspector and Transform, use Zoom X and Y to change the size of your bell and change the position on screen using Position X and Y. The background music in this tutorial is provided by the Proud Channel Sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website and one for a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.